Chanel here from the Heart and Soul with your weekly channeled message for September 2nd to the 8th. I had to check it. Uh, 2024. Uh, it's September. Holy moly. September newsletter is coming out on Tuesday. It's a long weekend here. Um, so it'll come out on Tuesday. Uh, I have lots going on. Stick around to the end of the reading and I'll tell you more. Um, but most importantly, did you get your 2025 Soulful Mystic Weekly Planner? It, did you know that includes a manifestation workbook? And this year it's got some moon cycle stuff in there too. I can't wait. Uh, I love editing it, adding more things to it every single year to give you more value and more um, uses for it. So get yours now. Go over to the website and order it. Well, after you listen to this. Let's see what my spirit guides have to say today. I'm immediately shown this big blast of light. We have been catapulted or kind of this feeling of explosion into a new energy frequency. The interesting part of this one is it kind of just appeared immediately. Lately, things have been kind of easing in and easing back out. And that is not the case with this energy vortex that shoved in a couple of days ago. We kind of got blasted with this new frequency, this new light, this new energy, and it might feel a little off-putting physically. Um, energetically, our bodies don't exactly know what to do with it. And so there's just a lot of energetic confusion. It's like our nervous system is a little frazzled as we are processing the intense amount of light that came in with this energy frequency. The more we move into this new energy, and some refer to it as new earth energy, um, we are being really catapulted into this place of stepping into the light. And that will mean releasing things that no longer serve us. That will mean people, places, and things are falling away as we recalibrate into the place that we really want to be. But the interesting part that's been coming in is this really soulful understanding. It's like we can release a lot of these human or very earthly things that have been kind of holding us back, like our money story. It's like we just let go of the fact that we need to make money and we move into this place of like, how am I serving? How am I showing up? And it just, there's this like as we shift into something completely different. We move into this energy that has a freedom, that there is not this like intensity or tightness around how am I gonna do this? Instead, there's just like this, it's happening. It's unfolding as it's supposed to. With this shift, you are going to see more things coming to the surface. Yeah, I know, you don't wanna hear it because it's just been bubbling and bubbling and bubbling and bubbling and we just, can't seem to get away from it. But what is happening here is this place of like, we are releasing and purging all these lower densities, all these lower densities that we are releasing and letting go. There is this move into this lightness and this frequency of freedom, this joy and happiness that I keep on referring to. It, it's all part of this. So the question this week is how do we release the density and really release it and let it go? Of course, things are going to come back in and, and I don't want to use the word test because it's not a test. It's more this piece of like, we're just getting used to the frequency and it takes us a little bit of time to be able to make that shift. And when we fully make that shift, we're going to move into it in a different way. It will become more knee-jerk instead of a thought process of, no, I don't need to hold on to that. This is the energy that I want to step into. The more this has been coming up over the last few weeks, the more I'm like, this is the answer. No, I don't have a magic wand that I can wave and create this for us all because I'm working through it too. But what I'm sharing is this piece of like when we choose to you know, perceive things in a different way, when we perceive it to not be a problem, when we just know that the things that we need are happening and unfolding, it shifts everything. 
and I and I've been playing with it and the energies that keep showing me and it's incredible and it's intense and it's just amazing but it takes effort it takes a shift in perspective it change takes a shift in mindset and again that might not be easy for everyone as you move through these we this week, I invite you to acknowledge the challenges as they come up, but choose not to get frustrated by them. Instead, as they come up to the surface, I invite you to just recognize, to have acceptance. Yes, this is frustrating that it comes back up, but I am not feeding this. I am instead focusing on the solution and how I deal with this. Because when we do that, we create the energy for the solution instead of feeding the frustration and creating more frustration. When we feed the solution, we begin to see things. And then the next time it happens, it is a smoother transition into that, that solution energy, into that freedom of how we move into it. It happens and it moves. And it shifts and we learn and we embody and we step and we grow and it is just a beautiful spiritual process that, yeah, is not necessarily easy, but is it worth it in the end? Absolutely. It just feels like this is a week of bubbling up. Um, where I am in southwestern Ontario, um, it is back to school time. Um, I think mostly across Canada, it's back to school time. I know that the schools in the U.S. have been back already, but um, I think that also brings a lot of bubbling. Um, I always think of September, too, as kind of a new start and a new beginning, even though it's kind of the last quarter of the year. And um, I always feel like, okay, it's time to plan until Christmas. It's time to like get that last hurrah in there. It's time to kind of reflect over the past year and where we've been. It's time to get recalibrated and back on track if we've been off track. So um, lots happening. Again, be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. That doesn't mean procrastinate and avoid. It means acknowledge. Acknowledge. I can't believe it's September already. Um, September newsletter is going out on Tuesday. Um, it's the long weekend here, and I'm not sending a newsletter out over the long weekend. Except for if you're in my Divine Map crew, check your emails tomorrow because you're going to get scheduling for the next couple of months, September, October, November, and maybe even December. We'll see. Um, check that out. Divine Map membership is my mentoring community. I mentor a small group of people uh, through card readings, meditations, uh, workshops, um, and question and answer periods. And we do them four times a month. Uh, we meet up for those different topics. Uh, it's only $29 Canadian a month. It's a really simple and inexpensive way to work with me. They also get access to a library of recordings that are past workshops, as well as healing meditations, channeled card spreads. And every month I do a recorded energy forecast to give you the 411 on what to expect for the month. I love them. So check it out. Uh, if you have not gotten your 2025 Soulful Mystic Planner, get on it. Pre-sale ends on September 15th, which is just two weeks from now. Uh, order now. They're $33, and that gives you the monthly tabs included. Saves you $10. Uh, there's local pickup in the Hamilton area. Also Woodstock, London, um, and Milton. I'm like, I know I'm missing one. And Milton, uh, if you're looking for one of those, uh, order yours now through the website. Uh, also, I am moving to regular Night with Spirit. So the second Friday of every month, I offer Yoga Nidra. This is available to you on Zoom, online, as well as in person at Dundas Yoga and Fitness. I am going to start doing a small group guaranteed reading a group of um, mediumship group on those nights as well. They will be after the yoga nidra. It will be limited to eight people and that's it. Um, but they will always be the second Friday of every month and they will always be at 830. 
they will last about an hour and a half um, and everybody will get a message when it's done. So that's going to be a little more consistent. You're also going to find that uh, the past life regressions, I'm going to do those on Zoom as well. It's a group past life regression. They will be once a month as well. And I will keep a regular schedule. I'm just deciding on what is the best day based on my uh, family schedule. So that will be in the newsletter. Those are $25 to join me on Zoom for that one. And I think that's it. Thank you for listening all the way to the end. I greatly appreciate it. If you can energy exchange with me and like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. I greatly appreciate it. It's how the message gets out. It's how people learn and grow. It is how I get seen and heard. And I am so grateful whenever you share, comment, subscribe, all of those good things. The beautiful part of small business is yes, I absolutely do a happy dance for everything under the sun. And I am so incredibly grateful. So Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be your spiritual tour guide and being here on this spiritual journey with me from my heart and soul to yours. Until the next time, my friend. Bye now.